What's up guys, ViperFV here. Today, real quick video for you guys, we're going to be showing you how to install a Crossfire receiver on any flight controller. So this will be a good point in reference instead of having to go through one of my build videos to see how I do it. Now, on the this will also apply for the nano receiver or the micro receiver. So this is the micro and we have ground 5 volts, channel 1, channel 2, channel 3, and channel 4. Um, I'm not using channel 3 and channel 4, so I just pulled those wires out, so there's nothing there. Uh, if you wanted to use like smart audio through your um, radio, you can do that too. I just use it through my goggles, so I have no point to hook it up. Um, and also, it can use go through... Uh, it's good for like a wing or something, if you want to be able to connect your um, smart audio to that, so then you don't have to worry about hitting the button and all that. But since we're using mostly quads, we can pretty much just do it this way, and then you just use smart audio through your um, UART on your flight controller and just change it through your OSD. So what we're going to do is, ch now channel 1 is transmit, channel 2 is receive. Um, if you know what we're talking about, you're going to need to connect it to a transmit pin and a receive pin on your flight controller. Now which one to pick? Um, that's up to you, any one, except for if it says S bus on it, don't use it. Um, you just need to pick up a TX4 and a Receive 4 pad. And on this flight controller, we have TX4 right here, and then we have RX4 right here, and then we also have 5 volts up here, and then we just use whatever ground you want to on the flight controller. So on your flight controller, it'll definitely be laid out differently, but just pick those ones. It can be TX3, T, uh, Receive T3, it doesn't matter, as long as it has a TX and a Receive pin, for the UART. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to connect up, solder it up real quick here. So we have our ground. We'll just pick any ground on a flight controller. doesn't matter. And I'm just looking here on the grounds. We have a ground right here, so we'll just grab that ground. That's done. And then we're going to grab our 5 volts, which is right up here. There we go. Connected. And then we have channel 1, which this will go to a, since this is a transmit, technically, it goes to a receive pin. So this one will actually go to the RX 4 pin on the flight controller. So whatever pin you're on your flight controller, it's going to go on the RX. RX3, RX2, whatever on your flight controller it, it says. And then we have TX. Uh, this one will go to the TX pad. So whatever TX pad, like I said before, TX2, TX3, TX4. But in this case, I'm using TX4. And that's how you hook up your receiver to any type of flight controller. It doesn't have to be the JBF4. So I hope you guys found this use video useful. That's pretty much how you connect it. And then in Betaflight, you just click on uh, SBUS receiver. And then under protocols, you just put CRSF, which is Crossfire, and you should be good to go. Um, another little tip when you're binding this to your radio, um, you do not hold the button when you want to bind it. And well, you don't hold the button when you want to first power it up. What you do is you power up your quad, like normal, don't touch no buttons, turn your uh, transmitter on, hit binding on the Crossfire Lua script, and then just press the button on here while it's powered up still. Just press it one time, and then it should blink, and then it should connect. And then that's it. That's how you pretty much bind it. It's pretty easy. Um, I know the Cross uh, Fry Sky, you have to hold the button while it's powering up, and it's kind of a pain in the ass. This, you do not have to worry about that. But Hope you guys found this video useful. If you haven't already, go ahead and subscribe and give this video a like as well. I'll uh, see you guys in another video. Peace.